good sunny gorgeous glowing beautiful low humidity not sticky or uncomfortable but a gorgeous early summer mid-june day in the greater bloomington metropolitan area in central illinois not a cloud in the sky not even those high overcast uh, stratosphere clouds a um, little bit of haze from the dust blowing around um without open farmland but a beautiful crystal clear ocean blue sky um today high temperature it says it's 86 degrees right now that's about our high with a cool uh drying out of the moisture and the humidity out of the atmosphere and the uh, lowering the dew point from 70 yesterday to the low 60s to the upper 60 dew points tonight on that northwest wind which with that 5 to 15 mile an hour northwest wind and drying out less humidity it's a beautiful gorgeous day today and uh if you can get outside in the central illinois area i highly recommend getting on that golf course if you can find water somewhere get out on that boat take advantage of an absolutely beautiful summer day couldn't ask for anything better right this is a subscriber request though if you would like a subscriber request with in-depth tactical analysis like one of our loyal longest followers and supporters of the channel the digital asset daddy takes top priority and he's asking for a couple of requests here. If you want to request coins or become a jabroni killer um, for $10 a month for jabroni killer, use hashtag jabroni killers. We're up to four now. We would like to get to 100. Um, you can donate to the channel. Links are above and below. Or if you want in-depth technical analysis on a coin like CeeLo, something I never would have brought up because uh, it's not something that I trade or follow. But I went out and started marking to try to figure out it seems like it's a relatively new coin if it's not a new coin it just got added on uh trading view and that's what i go off of and right away i pull out our industry exclusive and company made famous line tool with an arrow or perching tool will perch high up from high up from here you can see when the coin came out you had a pump and a consolidation and then another pump but quickly you notice here yeah, down sloping major overhead resistance and support you see resistance big wick that means as soon as it pumped this didn't last very long you had a huge sell-off right because you came up against this overhead resistance the first time you hit it was right here back in february and you had a huge sell-off hit it again huge sell-off huge sell-off huge sell-off huge sell-off huge sell-off sell and then a quick pump above and a huge sell-off now you've been trending down so we know this line holds significance for later in the future if we have a run into it trading lower and sideways or up and sideways, right? Then we have a long-term legacy um, uptrending support resistance. You see support one, support two, support three, support bound, support four bound, support five bound, support six bounds, and then it broke it. Then it hit it as resistance now and fell. So we know this line holds significance and also this horizontal line support and resistance. You can see that. So with this coin right now, that's why we start out from the far out time frames, digital asset data, and the rest of my future million subscribers and 293 of them currently, because you know how you got to where you're going. Um, and then you can zoom in to more sexy glowing data points because in the four hour time frame, there's more four hour time frame candles and there are hour time frame and weekly and monthly time frame. And now you can see what we got going on after this flush, which you could be trying to form here is a double bottom let's get some price targets on here for you digital asset dad to make this easy to follow so you can see we got major overhead resistance right there at four dollars and 73 cents we're gonna hit bam to clone to hey oh and then we got underneath overhead more short-term resistance at three dollars and 69 cents it's a beautiful number bam to here to now and then we have this double bottom that we're trying to form and this this happens a lot when you see something like this and you see a crash and a bottom and then a pump but the volume's still crashing you see it start to roll over on itself and this is a very significant spot because you could bounce real quick up to this upper resistance see that when you come down to double bottom you could now trade up and bounce into this overhead as we zoom in closer on more sexy time frames so i can give you what i think might happen this is an option you got that underneath support, you bounce on it, and then you fight into these moving averages to get rejected by this overhead support, and then you come down. Because this coin digital asset that is going to come down, it's just does it do it now, or do we have another bounce up because we had such a flush? So that's option one. 
bearish. Option two is bearish, but you could pump up, hold these underneath moving averages as support now and pop back into here and start trading inside this triangle again. You see that digital asset dad? Let's zoom back out. You could start to trade back in. Um, make that a little bit smaller. You could start trading back in here instead of getting rejected because this pattern's got time. So you could start fighting up over these moving averages, hit up a resistance at $3.69, come back down to these moving averages, the 200 and the 100 day, and then pop in to this triangle and then get rejected and then pop and trade in here and then come back down, come back up, come back down, come back up. And it could trade in this triangle for quite a long time here because it's got time. Delete that, delete that, delete that. This triangle has time to trade in. See that? We need something brighter than that. Bam, much easier. So you got a lot of time in this triangle. So you're going to come down much farther than $2 where you're at now, but you could trade up initially. And those are your two targets that I think uh, as you're gonna try to attempt the double bottom there from $2.29 and then upper resistance at 369, you could just immediately get rejected because we have no volume or you could move up and trade into this pattern uh, that you can obviously see in the daily time frame because you have time left. So I would say digital asset, they have this scenario up there is a four in 10 chance of happening. You're just running that pattern. This is a three in 10 chance of happening. And then you have a small chance. You just blow right by right now that double bottom and crash, right? So that'd be another double, other one and a half percent. So the mid ground, you're probably gonna do something like this for a little while, right? Yeah, there's mid ground, but there's your two options. And then your third option, obviously, is you just flush right through there and come down to much lower levels. I'll keep you updated on this one, but pay attention to see if you bounce at the 229 level, digital asset dad, and anybody else that may be thinking of or are in this coin and is looking for some ground. If you break 229, you're coming much lower. If you can hold that, you can bounce up to 369 as overhead resistance to come bounce back down or you can try to break back up into that triangle i'll keep you updated and put this into my list um, from now on to update you digital asset dad because you are a valued customer and a subscriber and friend of the channel right so we're going to take care of you and then xdc oh that's you're the one that always at i haven't brought up xdc in a while i kind of forgot about it where is it at i think i moved it Maybe I deleted it. Might have deleted it on accident. XDC. I hope this is it. I hope this is what you're looking for, digital asset dad. Cause this is the one we did ta on i don't know if it's the right one oh we need uh, we need xdc usd xdc usd it's the same same shit. all right so oh, i remember this i was doing it on the other one though but it's about the same shit. but you can see we'll start here Potter industry exclusive and YouTube made famous to Vengeance Gold Crypto Investing buying tool with an arrow, aka purging tool. You can see just like the other one I already had done, starting out from the far out time frames. And you can see that used it as support for a very long time. So we know that holds significance, right? Pull that out more into the future. Then we're gonna zoom in to a closer time frame to give us some more data points. And you can see the 200 day moving average is now showing up. See how super simple and easy this is when you start from a far out time frame and work your way in. Now you see a classic double top digital asset that up there and all my subscribers, that's, that, that, that plays significance because that's key to market structure because it shows you something's going on with heavy sell pressure up there, right? Then we can go here to the, to our horizontal line and you can see you got support resistance right there. And then you're going to clone this and you got more major support and resistance right now and we're going to make that a uh uh oh color this is a more of a oh shit color because if you crash there um to clone 
your next option is coming all the way back down to your ultimate support. So we're gonna make this uh, getting closer to oh shit and then the oh shit. So right now what I think you're gonna do, we're gonna zoom into the three hour time frame to get more data points. As you can see, you got major overhead resistance right here, pull out industry exclusive tool. And you can see, go from the top, you got all kinds of support and resistance, but we're gonna come from down here more where it makes more sense. See that? Makes more sense right up in there. So if you can pop, we're gonna put this as a potential awakening line. So you're running out of time here, getting squeezed down. So digital asset dad, you got them down sloping moving averages, which is bearish. So option one, your most bearish case, I'll put price targets on after, is you can pop and fight over these moving averages and then hit this overhead uh, resistance now that used to be support. And then it's probably gonna reject you and you're gonna trade back down. So you could trade like this for a little while um, and try to trade up, right? You could do something like that or you're gonna get rejected immediately right now because you got crashing volume still and you're bearish. You come up into these moving averages and it forces you down. Then you come up the overhead resistance and it forces you down. Then you come up and it forces you down and then you could try to pop, right? So that's possible, something like that too, right? See that? That is absolutely possible. You could be doing something like that where you have to come down first before you can go up. So these targets that I would watch out for you, digital asset dad, and anybody else playing this coin or thinking about it, is you got major overhead support resistance up at 80 cents. We're gonna clone that, bam. You got major underneath support, duh, at 29 cents. We're gonna make that a different color. Swoosh. Uh, swoosh. So you got major underneath support at 29 cents, right? And then you got mid-level clone resistance that's going to try to beat you down where these moving averages are at about five and a half or uh yeah five and a half cents right or a half a cents this is a half cent shit my bad so major overhead resistance at uh 0 0.08 major uh, moving average resistance and the upper resistance of this downsloping triangle at 0.056 and major underneath support at 0.029. Those are your two tracks. And I'm gonna put a watch out, move this shit back over here. I'm gonna put another watch out, digital asset data. This is where you gotta pay attention to two key areas. These moving averages right here as it interacts with it. It's actually the price action's down more. As it interacts with these moving averages right there and then as it interacts down here. Those are your two main areas to watch out for to try to figure out if it's going to break up or down along with the volume and the volume overall you can see is crashing i think it's got a higher probability of hitting 0.029 cents before it hits 0.080 cents that's just my two thoughts i'm not a financial advisor nor do i play one on my own radio show this is strictly education and entertainment only in my own personal opinions beliefs on the market i cannot recommend stocks securities um neutral funds or anything else like that on here or wherever i'm shared on social media Sub subscribe to the channel become a member of jabroni killer ten dollar a month hashtag jabroni killers links above and below this was another uh, vincenzo's gold crypto investing trading alert uh, technical analysis subscriber request peace and love peace and love